Hey, what is up, everybody? This is uh, Phantom here, and what I'm going to be showing you guys today is the Logistics Pipe mod. Uh, this mod is this mod is awesome. So, what I have, a, I just have a wall here for is just to you know just separate the two places so that you don't see that these two are actually connected. They're just connected with power. It's the only reason why I'm using that. So yeah. All right, so here we go. Uh, these pipes are called uh, Logistic Chassis pipe and logistic chassis mark one has one module spot these little module things ha can do like some crazy things like you can like request stuff from them you can sort stuff with that you can take stuff out of chest with that all right so you can fit one of those modules in there you can fit two in the mark two three in the mark three this one takes gold that one takes iron ingots this one takes gold ingots this one takes diamond ingot uh diamonds whatever and you can have four four module slots this one takes some crazy stuff. i'll show you guys right now. Um, there we go blocks of diamond blocks of gold so that's 36 diamonds, 36 gold right there, plus a logistics pipe. It's a lot of stuff. I've never even really needed to use that many, but maybe some people do. I don't really know. I've always only stuck with the gold because you don't even really need diamond in my case. So yeah, these are just ways to put modules in. All right, so let's do let's do this first. So what I have set up right here is this is just power with an MFSU, same thing on that side. Let's make it sunny. Alright, so. Right here. Take that out of testing earlier. Um, I have a logistics power junction. This needs to be connected to every, every logistics pipe uh, system. Connects with a regular logistics pipe, a basic logistic pipe, and you can power it with either megajoules, which is build craft like engines, like with the conductive pipe, or EU, which is like cables from industrial craft. I like to power it with industrial craft just because I feel like the power is easier to get than it is in build craft. So right here, this is a Mark two, three, Mark three. It has three slots. Mark three chassis pipe. I have it connected to a diamond chest, and I have a quick sort module in it. Uh, what a quick sort module does is it looks in all the chocolate chests that are connected, to it and it sees what's in that, and yeah, puts items there, extracts them out of the chest, and put them into that. These tell the quick sort module what's in the chest polymorphic item sinks they're in both the pipe and i also have extractor mark three modules in here which is uh it takes the items out of the macerator or the incinerary what's it called induction furnace and it takes out of the side you have to set that because if you take stuff out of the top, that's technically where you put items in, so it would just take the items that you put in, it would just be bad. Real bad. And I also have an item sink module in this. Alright, so, item sink, it tells what items should be going inside of this, and I have just ores set up in there, that's the base. Uh, this one, same thing. Uh, I have two dust in there right now. You can get all of them and have them all in there. All right, so let's put let's see what happens if I put some iron ore in. So the quick mo sort module will extract it and bring it to this because the item sync tells it to. Now, if you can see it really fast, the dust is moving right out and going into the incinerator frame, the induction frame because I told it the iron dust to be requested inside of the, the furnace. 
and because it's Mark III, which it's very fast, I think it's like one a second, if, that, if more than that, it takes it and it puts it into this, because, no, this one, because the polymorphic item sync module is telling it that it already has iron in it, so it's going to bring it to this chest. So yeah, that's that. Um, if I was to put anything like copper does, because it doesn't have a place to go to, it just stays in this. But I could set it the default route on like this, but I don't want to because that means everything would be pointed. So what I did is I set default route into this. So that means that anything that's not supposed to be in a in a chest goes there. All right, so we move on to this. This I just have the same thing. Um. Pipe, sort module in uh, Mark III. These are all Mark III chassis pipes. These all have polymorphic item sinks. This pipe is called a provider pipe. I'm pretty sure you can connect this anywhere you want to inside your junction, but I don't know. I like I like to put it right behind my request pipe. So what I did here is I put a bunch of crafting pipes next to an automatic crafting table and. I'll show you. I'll delete these and I'll show you what I did with them. So, you're going to put the crafting pipe right behind the automatic crafting table. You're going to put the recipe inside of the crafting table. You're going to want to import it. Same thing with these. I have sticks. So, you're going to get wood from a chest. It's going to go inside of here. It's going to make planks from it. Then you're going to have the wood go into sticks, import it. The sticks go into wooden gears, import that. The wood, more wood, go into well, crafting tables. And put them all together and you get an automatic crafting table. Import that. So. Let's put some wood in. This should just get extracted into this chest because of the polymorphic item sync module and the quick sort module. And it does. So, now, because you want your crafting system, you want to have these chests provide the items for it, you got to put the provider modules. Uh, Mark 2, Mark 3, Mark one will just do fine. Holy crap, what did I do? Alright, sorry about that. Okay. So, provide them all. And also, for personal preference, I like to have leave one item per stack. So that means you can't take the last item out of the chest. So say like you had diamonds in a chest. Instead of having to like, like say you wanted 64, so you pull that all out. Now, now whenever you get more diamonds, you're going to have to specify that you want it in this. Instead of putting it just in this, and it'll be fine. So, now that those all have provider modules in. I am going to want to request, what's request? Maybe a stack. I wonder if I can pull a Request successful. So now, you have the wood going into wooden planks. Wooden planks going into sticks. Stink. Sticks going into gears. Gears going into this. And more wooden planks going into the crafting table. Crafting tables go into this. As I wanted 64, it just keeps making them, keeps pouring them out, keeps pouring them out. It's pretty crazy. Pouring them out, keeps pouring them out. Holy. Go, 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 go. Alright, now we finally have them being made. There we go. Up to. 
I already had one made, so I had one in my inventory, so. 45, 46. And then I'm bouncing all over the place right here. 50. I'm almost done. Also, if I put a basic logistics pipes right, right here, it would not even be going this way. It would know to just go this way. But I forgot to put one right there. I'm supposed to put them on any, like, connect right here. So, yeah, let's grab them all. Hm. I must drop. I must have gotten rid of one on accident. Then. All right, well, as you can see, that's how it works. You can extend this to be huge. I have one that's, like, giant. I'm thinking about showing. It's pretty big. I have probably about 20, 30 recipes in there. Make, like, combustion engines and some crazy stuff. Automatically. Just click of a rent to a requester pipe. It's pretty fast. Uh, I hope you guys liked the video. If you could, can you please rate it? Uh, if you didn't like it, dislike it, of course. Um, please request a video. I'm getting pretty needy for requests because I, I like to make requests for people just because it's cool. Uh, we'll see you guys later. Please comment, rate, subscribe. See you guys later.